screwed up. Huh? They're investigation. What'd they do? It's concentrated on people who didn't do, didn't do anything too much. That's what you think? I know it's what had happened. They spent... They were going to pin it on me. Well, you weren't home that day. They didn't find that. They didn't care. You don't understand. They didn't, did, nobody knew that until later. They didn't care. We need to solve this and you're it. And you were in the hot seat. I was in the hot seat. And when they found out that it was just too much against them, and another, they gave up. But they spent all that time pissing around on a drive without a driver's license and all that shit when they should have been looking for murder. Right. Yeah, you just had... Yeah, they wasted all that money. Millions of you went, dollars. You went to the dump site that day. <laughs> you went to the dump site. What the fuck? Yeah, I was in my fiat when it was going down. Right. Oh, you're getting wet, aren't you? No. I got a faucet problem. Uh-oh. <laughs> My pressure tank went out. I just replaced it a little bit ago. I got a brand new mowing faucet. Brand new. hundred and some dollars. It's all fucked up with some crap from this dirty water. Rusty water. Oh. Some of the plumbing in this house is... There's some beautiful homes along here. Yeah. I need you. This whole area is beautiful. You're from Fort Wayne, man. Eh? Yeah, we walk the trails a little bit. Yeah? It's beautiful. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a shame what happened. I'm not surprised. I thought this would happen. What? Not the murders, but when they put up those trails in... And I... In the middle of nowhere, I said, you're going to have all kinds of drug problems and all kinds of crap from this. This will draw every deviant in the world to it. I mean, we we walked it a little bit. I was a little scared, you know, because it was just us two. They're not going to do it again. Not here, anyway. Do you think they're from here? Oh, it was part of some kind of family for a long time. Did you really? Really. Why did you think that? Because it's too damn close. They can't see the forest from the trees. Right. Looking right at them, but can't. the person who done that could have been on the search team to look for their look for them when they were missing. Right. I mean, they, they had people out here in my woods that night that they were looking for all over that place. That's the now, why did you have to find a bed? Yeah, I find that surprising, too. And if that is a crime, with hundreds of people in my woods and walking up down the creek, tromping all over everything, what are you going to find? Right. It's destroyed. It's Who found them? Huh? Who found them? A neighbor over here, Pat Brown. She, it's a she or he? He. Pat? Yeah, Patrick. Volunteer fire? No, he's a neighbor. He's yeah. Living for him. And he found him. Uh -huh. he, he, there was some other woman with him. Uh, supposedly, some people on the other side could look on my side of the creek and they saw clothing. So they called up, said, Hey, there's some clothing down there. Go check it out. So he went down over the hill and he saw him immediately. So, and they're right out in the open. I don't understand why they didn't find them the night before. Why did it take them? Do you think they were there the night before? I, well, according to all the law investigators, they were. No one thinks it's dump site. Yeah. Nicole says so. It's the craziest. Now, can you walk back there or no? Can you get back to where it happened? It's not real easy, no. Oh. No, it's that's why I. It's such a not. Okay, this is where the where the bodies were is about 80 feet below where we're standing, and that side over there it comes down into a big valley and a big. Now, Deer Creek's way below us here. Yeah. Quite a bit. Yeah, it's a big drop. Yeah. You know, you, you would have to... I don't know how you'd get there. Unless you make them walk there. How are you going to get them there? Right. I don't know. That's... How do you make two 14-year-old girls do something they don't want to do? <laughs> Either you know what? I was a teacher for 10 years. I don't know. Somebody in authority that they'd have to listen to. But 
closer to somebody in the family. Or family, someone they knew. Or authority. Yeah. I don't know, it's pretty crazy. Now, what messed them up, what brought all the public down on them, I mean, they really, they really crafted their white hat. It's when they completely turned 180 degrees down. Two years later, they're not looking for an old guy like me. They're looking for a young fellow. Right. Now, wait a minute. You're going to just look at me and say, well, sorry, Ron. Sorry, Ron, for all the shit we did and pulled on you and all the false reports we made. Send you to prison for not driving without a driver's license. Who goes to prison for that? How long were you there? I got sentenced for four years and had to do two. You were in prison for two years? You just got out? The, la the people raised so much hell, they can't even let me out. Come home for home house arrest the last year. Wow. $500 a month. To be on house arrest? It's all money. Uh, oh, all your justice is pure money. That's all it is. You got the money, you get the honey. You don't, you go to prison. <laughs> wow, Ron. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. But Thanks. anyway, I'm lost about everything. Completely, people came out here, stole the shit, because they knew I was gone. Oh, you're Especially kidding. By myself. Yeah, oh, yeah, they cleaned my garage, yeah. Lost all my, all, all my stuff. So you got put in prison for two years. You lost your...